Hello everybody, welcome to part three of my mega binder storage video. Yes, part three. This is a three-parter because it took longer than I expected for part one and part two. Um, after part two, I made some decisions. You may have seen, um, I'll put it up here, my original binder setup. Yeah, you'll see it up here. Um, I decided to make a few edits, so you'll see that over here. Do you guys see the difference? The little subtle changes I had to make? I decided during part two, or as I was wrapping up part two, I didn't like the setup I had with some of my binders. So I did a little switchy roo. Also, I changed my soundscape background. It's like this really cool video on YouTube of I think it's somewhere in Japan getting like the most awesome calming snowstorm. Like I could literally fall asleep as I'm doing this right now. It's so relaxing and tranquil. I love it. This part three will probably be the most diverse part of the three-parter because this one has all the remainder of the photo cards I'm storing today. And it's going to be, I think, pretty much 10 different binders. But even though it's 10 different binders, I think it's still less total photo cards than in part one and part two. Without any further ado, let's get started with this binder here. Um, this is one of the ones that changed. And it, this is the Oltz binder. Now, this is number two. Before number two was the Baco, Lucas, and Jeno Jamin. They are now Oltz binder three. This is Oltz binder two. I moved Jungkook with Kang Daniel because they were part of my original Olds um, lineup. And <laughs> this was my old The Boys binder. I just realized because I still have another group thing on the back. I'll move that over. And I don't have much for this today. It's pretty much just this and some larger inclusions for Jungkook. So let's get started. And um, Subin will be on glare duty today. Thank you, Subin. So this first section looks like it's going to be Daniel. Yeah, so from the very opening of Produce 101 when um, they were all doing the Pick Me song and I saw that like sprout of pink hair and that like adorable little puppy smile I was like, that's it, that's my winner, that's my pick, and he ended up winning. So, Daniel has a special place in my heart. I, um, I'm not doing too good with his one-on-one -on -one photo cards, I must admit. Uh, some double-sided ones here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing bad, but I'm not doing good. And then we start with his solo things. Let's see, I, oh, look at me. I actually have something from his 101 era. This is the, um, from their album, Undivided. And it's the uh, 101 version, which goes right here. All right, nothing here. Most of the things I'm putting in is from this solo era. Yeah, this is color on me. And then we get into uh, his, like, I guess, the color, I guess, series, like um, cyan and magenta starts up here. And I actually have a magenta card. This is the very first selfie version for magenta. That goes there. And I'm just missing another one of these selfies. Well, oh, I'm down to one. Then I'm complete with Magenta Era. And then we start um, yellow. So for yellow, I've got Yeah. Looks like this number of cards. Uh, it's A and B versions for yellow. Um, 
they have different backers. You can see this one's like a more of a sphere. And this is more of a kind of like the I don't know, tree of life type of shape. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, the circular ones are version A. I just uh, have a template next to me that I've, uh, I'm following the order that it's on the template. So this one would go here. Like that. All right, I've got this one behind this really cool sweater thing. And this one I have here. For version B, I've got these two to put away. I've got this one here. And this one here. Oh, I think I get it. I think I left the um, yellow post-its to indicate the ones I don't have. And I have the plain white ones with ones I did have. Except for this, because this is the end of yellow. So Daniel should be having a comeback pretty soon. So that's that. So let's do a little quick flip through of his album cards. Oh, sorry, Susan. Right, now this section here, these were from his 2021 season's greetings. These have like the super cute backs. Do y'all see the backs here? They're like the cutest backs ever. And then need these two cute cards here. Now this year, didn't get as many. So it's all of these. If you haven't checked out my uh, season's Greetings unboxing for Kang Danyo. Um Maybe I'll put one of those little things up here, like a card, like all the professional YouTubers put. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to go here. So this was the pre-order benefit. And I'm just going to fill in. There's no real order to these. I'm just going to... Um, yeah, I'm just going to fill in. I might move them around. Eventually. I'm going to put this in the middle because he. this is my favorite uh, concept. I love that shirt. Let's see. Put this black and white one here. This one here. Oh, perfect number. Look at that. That worked out perfect. And these were just various. Um, I think this is from a magazine. This is uh, some merch collab. And of course, the group photos from the album. The 101's debut album. And then, of course, the film strips that came with his various albums. I'm missing some, but they're not a priority for me. And postcards. Uh, and other larger inclusions. Ah, these are so cute from the 2021 season's greetings. So cute. I love Daniel's season's greetings. And these were the, um, they were like the folding, like accordion style, like mini like poster or postcard things from, uh, this is magenta. And I just sort of separated them and with my friend balloon glue, put them in one pocket pages. And you see how well they stay put with the balloon glue. And then... Back cover, of course. 
All right, next section is Jungkook. Jungkook, we don't have much. We just have, um, let's see. We only have this <laughs> and then this and a few other larger inclusions like these. We also had this that was doing Glare Patrol last video. This is the, um, oh, gorgeous. This is from the BTS um, 2022 season's greetings. I think I'm just gonna put this like in a one pocket page in here. Um, yeah, I was going through my albums, but rearranging them, and I was just flipping through all my old albums, and I had like 10 photo cards just stuck all in them. Like I never took them out, I forgot to. And this was one of them, this is Jungkook. I always complain how I never pull them, and I actually pulled them once. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see how his section is doing. Yeah, you see I'm missing quite a few of his earlier albums. I have some on the way from Neo Kyo. But here's this era. I did good on this page. And you start getting into the whole, uh, like, Love Yourself series. Like, Tear, Her, and, um, was it Her? Here and answer, yeah. And then there's these. All right. Um, I don't think I have any of these. So this is from the season's greetings. Do I even have a spot for this? I don't even know if I did I do the spot for this. I did not. So this is all regular album stuff. Um, leaving room for eventually the next comeback. This is a lot of non-album stuff like DVDs. Um, I think that's from the winter package. Some of these are from the Daikon magazine. This is the cutest thing. He's a carrot. <laughs> um, this is from the anniversary package. Um, this was from that photo book. Right, yeah, the concept photo book. This was also from that. So I guess I'll just put this back here. The one thing that frustrates me of about Jungkook's collection, besides him being the most expensive idol out there, <laughs> um, is BTS has like the most diverse size <laughs> like they have a lot of different size things i think more so than a lot of other groups so that's why it's so frustrating collecting him because there's just so many different pockets and stuff you have to buy but yeah here's the um bang bang con i'm still missing the golden one and here's from the um Again, that's the anniversary package, the 8th anniversary, I believe. And then, of course, they love these slightly bigger than normal photo card size photo cards. So, I had to put them in four pockets. And I think... Uh, I think I'm just going to put this one... Here. Yeah, that looks good. And I think back here, I'm going to put these. These were like, um, I think it was like an accordion photo thing from the 8th anniversary package. I'm just going to put them back here because they're totally cute. And then some more larger inclusions. these things this is some other brand collab things 
Um, where am I gonna put this thing? This is like the postcard. Oh, it's like double-sided. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to put it here. Here? Should I do it here? Yeah, I like it here. And since this is pretty plain, let's just put that back here. page things which I'm gonna have to add one unless I have an extra one in here I do not oh, I literally have a box with like 10 different sizes of pockets in it <laughs> um, but yeah so this is like from summer I think 2018 yep summer package this was um, summer package 2019 I believe yep this was part of the uh, season's greetings. Yep, season's greetings. So, oh, this this cool postcard with like, look at baby. Um, hold on. Oh my God, look at that. They're like little babies here. That's Jimin, Taeyong, and Jungkook. This was um part of their. Uh, photo book and DVD from when they went to Thailand. It's like super out of print, super hard to find, but I found the whole photo book and this came with it, of course. Some more uh, like four by six style photos. Oh, well, before we get too far back here, I want to put this here okay and of course the very back I've got the guidebooks you get from some of their um, summer packages you get random guidebooks like this was um, when they went to Saipan here's their other one I can't remember what year is this one. Is this one 2017? Uh, okay, 2017, 2018. The drawing diary from what 2019, and of course the winter package 2020, and just extra pages. And of course I got the 20 pocket back here, and the season's greetings did come with another like passport ID. This is the most random page. <laughs> hey, it's just such a random, yeah. Okay, well that is all for Holtz Binder 2, Jungkook and Kung Daniel. Oh. So I actually have two binders for 17. I've got the, uh, I call it the WMD. Wanu, Mingyu, and DK, or Weapons of Mass Destruction, because that's what these three are. <laughs> and this is the album, uh, like the album photo cards binder. Oop. These are some random inclusions. All right, so here is um, Wanu, Mingyu, and DK. These are so cute. These are like the um, postcard ones from um, 17 karat so cute it's like a dark and a light concept oh my god look at them oh so cute Mingyu. and look at 
Look at this man right here. Oh, he's so devastatingly handsome. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so for album photo cards, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Mm, yep. So 14 of these are album, and the rest go into the other binder for the non-album stuff. I think I have these in order already. So this is some of their earlier album things, which I don't have yet. I have color-coded Wadi's Pink, Mingyu Blue, DK Yellow. Alright, so I don't have much for Boys B, Love and Letter. Oh, so cute. See, going 17. Mm, don't have anything for that era. I don't think this is, I don't think Glare Patrol is working out for me today. See, going 17. No, don't have anything for that. Uh, alone. No, don't have any new things for that. Teenage, again. Oh god, I'm not doing too good, am I? <laughs> Uh, teenage director's cut. Nope, nothing for that either. Let's see. Uh, you make my day. We're getting now. We're getting close. Okay, so it's, these are from that era. All right. So for you make my day. How do, what do we got for that? We've got. You made my dawn. You made my dawn. You make my day. You make my day. Okay, so I've got these two. I've got a uh, Mingyu and a Wanyu. This looks really close to this one, so I'm thinking it's there. Yep, this is a uh, Set the Sun version for Mingyu. Okay. Oh my god, y'all. I totally had, like, postcards for Kang Daniel's Season's Greetings. I, I missed them. Uh, yeah. Well, here they are. You saw them if you saw my unboxing. We'll put them in the binder off camera because I'm a goof and missed. All right, so this Wanu photo card is a follow version. And let's see, I think I'm going to put this one here. It completes my row. Yep, that's correct. Oh, it's like the follow version with this type of backing versus that backing. All right, so now we're in You Made My Dawn. And this is all of these. I've got two Wanus and two DKs. And for Wanu, these are both um, before Dawn versions. So that would go there. And this would go here. Ooh, nice. And I believe this one is also a Before Dawn version for DK. Huh, isn't it so satisfying when you complete a page? Look at that. Pretty. Love it. Yep, completed. And this one is an Eternal Sunshine version. <clears throat> Not the first one. This is the, this one. Perfect. And then we get to an ode. I'm so proud of my progress for an ode. But I do have a few. Oh, two. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've did really well with an ode, despite it being just a monster amount of cards. Let's see. I don't have this. Uh, the poet. Ah, oh, it goes there. And this one is a begin, no, truth, truth version. So this one's almost complete. Oh, I was so happy I completed these outdoor ones with the beanies. Oh my god. 
they are the cutest things ever. I love this page. Love, 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 love. L-O-V-E. Love it. Yeah, see, I just, I've done really well with an ode. So this one goes here. And we have another complete page. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, I just realized Zubin's got th three piercings. Crazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And yeah, that wraps up an ode. And then these are like the circle cards, which I don't really collect unless they come with a, like a bundle or something. So that's why they're there. And then we start our Hengare era, which I'm not doing too bad with either. Look at that, that's awesome. Let's see, it's like the Hana dual set net version. So we finished Hana of Dole. I was missing this DK, but that is right here. Excellent. So we're just missing this Mingyu right here. And this Mingyu here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some like benefit cards. So I've got like the benefit cards marked, but I just don't, uh, I'm just not motivated to get them. <laughs> we'll see. I might just get these since I've made a placeholder for them, but there's just so many and I'm collecting so many groups now. And then these are like the bookmarks, which are not priority, but I did pull these for my albums, so. And then we got the semicolon, the special album. I'm missing this Yiz Hayu fan sign for Mingyu, but I do have DK and Wanus. And again, same thing. I just, these, if I find them, I find them. If I don't, I won't be heartbroken. I'm really focused on regular album right now. Like this whole page is empty, as you can see. And then these were the inclusions for semicolon, which I have everything now, which is cool for my members, and of course the units. Um, your choice. I'm still missing this freaking DK photo card. I can't find it. Ugh, with the flowers? Makes me upset, but I have all the others. And again, I have all of the like benefit cards marked off. I mean, it looks really pretty. It's just, there's no cards. <laughs> Uh, I do have this DK one though. And I do have these. I got these at a good price, so of course I had to get them. So cute. Yeah, there's just so many. I don't know why I thought I was gonna collect all these. Crazy. And these were the larger inclusions. You know, little postcards that came in the album. Again. Not a priority, I'll get them if I see them at a good price. Okay, nice. All right, Attica, that's what these are from. Um, I'm not doing good on some of these earlier ones. I think I have some in my Neo Kyo haul coming up. All right, so I'm missing 37, well, I was. But that's what this one is. What I like about this is they're all numbered, so it's awesome. <laughs> like this is Wanu number 114. Let's see, this is DK45, DK71, and DK129. Alright, well this is Wanu again, 114. We're not there yet. All right, so this is 46 for DK from, I guess, OP3 version. Is that what they call it, OP3? Here's 71. <sighs> Look how similar all these are. <laughs> it's 
Target exclusive. They don't have Mingus. This is from the carrot version. I do have that. For DK. And then 114 carrot version. For Wanyu. Nice. And then when you got the carrot version, they came with like, like what, 20 photo cards each. So that's what this last few pages are. Just all in my three pattern setup. Oh, illegal. Wanu, illegal. It's so cool you got so many of these. Oh, and then, um, these are, what are these? Oh, these are like fan made, but they were like so totally cool. I kept them. <laughs> and then these are the uh, postcards or mini postcards, I guess. Again, these larger inclusions aren't priority. I just get them if I pull them or if they come in a bundle with another card or if my friend Katie and I trade. <laughs> There's these little things. And then um, these are like Japan releases and HMV cards, which I don't really collect, but they were part of bundles and stuff. So that's why they're all back here. And these cute things back here. All right, so that is the Wanu Mingyu DK regular album photo cards. Now here, this is for their non-album. This is like the Daikon magazine, like when you got the individual member covers. It came with like these awesome like holographic or like lenticular backed full page thingies. Totally cool. Yep, so I got DK, Wanu, and Mingyu's, of course. Um, so this is bittersweet. This was the Mingyu Wanu unit. That kicked off, like, the Power of Love series, I guess. And I think... Did I finish this? I think I finished this, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm complete with all of these. No, I'm not. Maybe, I think I'm missing one, one card, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. I think I'm complete. I'll double check that. <laughs> and then of course the postcards. Oh, what do I have for this anyway? Yeah, I've got this little stack here. Got uh, these here. All right, this is incomplete. It, well, it's the incomplete like, concert thing, uh, which I think I'm completing <laughs> today. I was missing just this freaking cute as F U card. This one is like more expensive than all the other ones for some reason. Maybe because he's so effing cute. Yay, we are complete. Alright, and then there's these things here. I forgot what these are. Going 17, I think. And then these are from Season's Greetings. I feel like I have this DK. Do I have this DK? Hold on. Oh, I do not have that DK. Okay, I do not have that DK. Thought I did. Alright, these are from like Japan tour things. Yeah. Um, these are random Carrot Land things. Yeah, Carrot Land. Totally cute. I don't think I have any going there. Oh, I'm still missing some of these, which really drives me insane that I can't find them. 
Oh, actually, that's, that's from Carrot Land. And this is uh, DK. This is number 97. So I think I might go here. Yeah, this goes here. All right, we got a little bit going. Here's their units and groups. And this is from, uh, what, the Power of Love concert? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm actually complete with that. Ah, so these are from the Blu-ray and DVD. So I have the DVDs set. And thanks to my last Neo Geo haul, I have the Blu-rays. So now I am complete with the incomplete DVD and Blu-ray photo cards. So cute. And these are some more of the incomplete things. This was from the carrot kit. I think I have this year's carrot kit. I, I don't know when they're gonna mail that out, but they haven't mailed it yet, so that's what these slots are for. And here's the Daikon magazine. Ugh, these are like the cutest things ever. So cute. Especially this with the double-sided ones. Ugh, DK just kills me. So yeah, more Daikon magazine. Um this is part of that. Just larger inclusions. This is from the um, the Social Club photo book, the, the, both the De Capo and Alfine, Alfine, whatever versions. I'm missing some of that. This was my priority card though, this DK with the sheep. I had to have that, definitely. Yeah, I'm missing a DK. There's one with, um, he's like, there's flowers, I guess, in it. I'm missing that one. I'm missing a Mingyu. Um, oh, yeah, these are their In the Soup photo cards. I think I am going to... Just so I don't just waste pages. I think I'm going to put their Season's Greetings here. This is the 2022 Season's Greetings. Pretty. And then this is all from Little Wishes. It was like this whole merch thing they did around the holidays. I joined some uh, group orders and stuff. And I know some of these are from like the pajama set and all kinds of merch. I don't know what is what. I just went crazy and bought them. So let's, uh, let's put those away. doing this right but the backs match so let's we'll do it this way oh, I feel like I'm so disorganized this video all right and then Okay, so full body, full body shots. Yeah, we'll put those to here at the bottom. Like that, oh, pretty, that's a pretty page. Oh, I have to officially break into a new nine pocket box. I use these Ultra Pro Platinums. Missing the Mingyu. And then I have th 
this. This is like a larger inclusion. Do I even have a spot for this? I do not. Hmm. And I also have these here. These probably will fit in a four pocket. I got a four pocket here. I mean, these are from the season's greetings. So let's see, got Wanu, Mingyu, DK, and I guess we'll put this here <laughs> for now. I'm not mad at that. Okay. And these came in the um, social club, yeah, photo book. These are really pretty to like um, profile, full page profile things. So cute. Oh, this man, so handsome. You too. <laughs> and these are the pre order from Weverse. These were like the clear acrylic things. Oh, we got some photo IDs. We do have some IDs right here. Oh, so these were two per member. I think these came with the, um, what was this? Was this in the season's greetings? I think this was in the season's greetings. Yep. So how are we going to do this? Mm, let's do... Frowny. Smiley. Frowny. Smiley, frowny, and smiley. Yeah, I think these like 20 pocket pages are for like stamp collectors or something. I think they're for like tobacco stamps or something. I don't know. It's totally cool. But that is all of my 17 non album photo card and other inclusions that we're putting away moving on here is Wano's binder this is all of his solo album and on album things and we have quite a bit to put away for Wano I think besides these photo cards we got these larger inclusion things from his season's greetings and like these full pocket page things from also his season's greetings. I think I'm gonna need this is 12, so I'll need six pages, right? One, two, yeah. So those, and of course, this is from Wano's first album, Love Synonym, part one. Right for me, I think. Yeah, right for me. So there's that. I completed that album, which was great, including a few pre-order benefits as well, uh, which are further back, but this was Love Synonym Part 2, Right For Us. So again, finished that. And of course, latest release besides the one he just dropped, this is Blue Letter, which again, finished all of those regular albums. And these with the star holographics are pre-order benefits, fan sign benefits. Um, I don't think I collected all of them, but these are all I'm collecting. Cause he started off okay, he didn't have as many, but then this last freaking album, so many, so many. <laughs> That's what most of these are. Um, so these are the fan sign benefits. Yeah, I don't have any of the Soundway 1.0 or 2.0 or 3.0, <laughs> but I think, or 4.0, I don't have any of these. Ah, uh, but I do have Soundway 5.0. I swear, he's turning into like the boys with all of theirs. These are the Halloween ones where he is Harlequin, which are epic. I love, I'm going to collect all these Harlequin photo cards, like every... 
idol that does Harlequin, I'm gonna have it. I have um, Young Hoons, I have Subins on the way, Wano. I believe these are the withdrawn. Oh, I put little check marks, the ones I have. I'm so smart. <sighs> Alan, way to go. I forgot that I did that. Here's the withdrawn ones 1.0. So these are with Drama 2.0. And again, he just has such similar cards when he does pairs. Oh, love him to death, though. And I'm calling this with Drama 3.0. This is one of my favorite cards right here with the glasses. Okay, Wonderwall. Oh yeah, Wonderwall had the pink background and the backwards cap. Looking like a bad boy. But we all know he's just like a little squish squish. Trying to impersonate a bad boy. And then Wonderwall 2.0 which is these two. And then Everline, when he's like in this Miami Dolphins looking jersey. This is Everline 1.0. And then Everline 2.0. Which is these. What are you? What are you? Oh, this is different. This is from his season's greetings. Are all these? No. No. Ah. Okay. And these were like the message cards. Um, and then postcards, larger inclusions from his albums. These were like G Market pre order ticket things. These were something else. I can't remember what they are. They're like little cutout shapes. And these. And these are from Blue Letter. They were like the mini, I guess, poster things. are more things all right so this is season's greetings from last year hmm I think I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit This is the pre-order this year, one of them anyway. And then the photo cards were like Polaroid style this year in no particular order.
And then I'm going to leave space for his next season's greetings, which I don't even know if he's going to have one next year because he might be in the military by then. Oh, that'd be sad. These are postcards from his season's greeting. I'm going to put that in two pockets. Okay to me. Put that here. And then he's got this ticket from this year's season three. Oh, this will this will be okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. We'll just rearrange this four pocket a little bit. Yeah, right? All these are tickets and stuff. Okay, and then single pocket page things to avoid wasting too many. We'll go back to back on these. Okay, this is November and December. I don't know how I feel about these. They don't quite fill the... Uh, whatever, it's whatever. August and July. Let's see, that's June and May. And we've got April and March. And finally, February and January. Guess I'll put those back here. Like so. And then next we have, this is from his weenie kit, uh, from last year's weenie kit. I was in a group order for his We Are Young concert photo cards. Of course, there's 10 of them. <laughs> so in that case, because I don't want to waste a whole nine pocket, I think the plan for this year is to not be wasteful. I know how nice some people's binders are with their six patterns and their five patterns. I'm just tired of wasting pages with blanks because these things are not cheap. So I am going to make an executive decision and just do that. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. And then I also got these postcard or Polaroid sized. I think they call them postcards. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of wait, one, two, three, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, of course, because nothing this man does makes my life easier. <clears throat> he just couldn't stop at eight, could he? <laughs> Let's just do these four pockets. And I don't 
don't think there's an order to these, so. Oh, what, oh, what's going on here? Uh-oh. So these are the Ultra Pro 4 Pockets. All right, I have some of these BCW 4 Pockets. I wonder if, hopefully these are better. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Wow. Thank you, BCW, for the win. So disappointing. It's okay. It's okay. Card collecting is not a race. You can collect at your own pace. Don't have to be the first to finish. Ugh, this page is so sloppy. right here. <laughs> I'm quite proud of my Wano binder. I think I have a decent collection. It's not the best by far. There's a lot of people out there that are much better at collecting Wano, but I think I'm doing my part. Showing him some support here. <sighs> These weenie kits are so cute. I wonder when they're gonna do the second generation one. I haven't, they haven't announced it yet. Hopefully soon. So I wanna be an official weenie for a second time. These are just random, um, like, what do they call these things? Flyers, yeah, flyers. Okay. I think that's all for Wano. These are stickers, right? Yeah. That was a lot. So this is my Monster X binder. This is uh, when they were MX6. I have OT7 and MX6. This is the MX6 binder since Wano is solo now, of course. And those are the members I collect. Jiwon, Minyuk, Shonyu, and Chenkin. The setup in here is a little weird. All right, of course, since this is MX6, it starts on All About Love and Fantasia era, because those are the first, I guess, official releases without Wano, even though Wano's voice is in some of the All About Love songs, right? Here's Fantasia, welcome to Fantasia. These are broadcasts, stickers, I'm missing Shonu. 
Oh, I'm so proud of this page right here. This is so awesome. Okay, it's on two pages. This is like with the Mondongi and the presents. These were on, I guess you could consider these broadcast PCs. Monster X is, um, I think the only group I collected broadcasts for a little bit. I stopped at this point, but, but fantasy it went well. As you can see, it's, you're only seeing three members, Juhan, Minyak, and Shonu, because, um, Chenkin is in his own spot because he is the fourth of the four I collect. Juhan would be my top bias. He'd be my fourth. And I, for a while, I was thinking of selling off my Chankin collection. I'm just, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> but that's why you don't see him yet. He will pop up. And then um, we get to uh, the Kinos and such for Fantasia. And then, of course, Fatal Love. Again, these are, uh, I think these are broadcast ones. Expensive, man. These were expensive. <sighs> I did get my stickers for all three members, which was cool. Uh, there's some pre-order benefits of that era. Juhan doing his like Joker impersonation. <laughs> um, I had this freaking Fatal Love version one, but the person never sent it to me. Like, yeah, never sent it to me. Like I bought it and they never sent it to me. So, oh, oh well. What can you do? Alright, and then here is more Fatal Love. One thing about Monster X photo cards, you see how they fill, well besides some of these pre-orders, but the regular album ones just like fill the whole pocket. Monster X is like the standard when it comes to photo cards in my opinion. And these were like the message cards, these are Kinos here. Um, and then, oh, these pre-order benefits, so pretty. I actually pulled these from my, my order. Like I got, I think I got a Kihun and he was the only member I don't collect out of the ones I got, so yeah. So one of a kind era, I think I did pretty well here as well. I didn't think I was doing as well with Monster X, but but I guess I'm doing better than I thought. Okay, well, the Kinos, I've got Shonu for my Kino. I saw missing Juhan and Minyuk. All right, No Limit Era. So I got a few Juhans. I got some Minyuks. I did really good with Chenkin. Like I pulled him. Um. Oh, but here's Chenkin. He will show up because Shonu, because of his military duty. Did not participate in the limit. So to keep my three number thing, I had to move Chankin up. All right, so this is version two. Yeah, this is version two, Juhan. And then for Minyuk, I actually have version one. Yep, version one. And this is version two, right? Yep, version two. And then I also have version one and two for Chenkin. So cute, this era. He just, I mean, he's always cute, but he's just really cute, this era. Oh, he just keeps looking younger. I don't know how he does it. All right, that's not bad. I'm just missing this Juhan, which upsets me, but I'll find him. Let's turn the page. This is version four, Juhan. This is version three, Minyuk. And this is version three and four, Chenkin. All right. Oh, if you're curious what the back of this one is, it's that color. Version threes of that color. I feel like this one's going a little smoother. This is version three, right? Yep, that's version three. Okay. I 
and version four. Yep. All right, Steven. Welcome back. All right. I don't have any of the Kinos. I don't have any of the jewel cases. And I don't have any of the limited versions. Um, I do have you know, this Juhan from their English album, The Dreaming. He was my pull, which was exciting. I didn't set up for that, so I'm just gonna put him there for now and I'll make a set up for that later. And then here is Chankin's section <laughs> um, from all Fantasia and All About Love and Fatal Love and all that. That's why you didn't see him earlier, because he's in his own section. Which, if I do decide to sell him, makes it easier, because they're all together, so I don't have to go rummaging through the whole binder. But I don't know. It would be a hard one to part with. <sighs> All right, this, oh, so this section, well, it's supposed to be for non-album, but I see some Japanese release album things here. <laughs> but the rest is non-album. These are, um, MX University, I think the fourth Mon Baby fan con sort of thing. Yeah, this is the fourth. Here. And this is the fifth Mon Baby Monster X University. It's like their fan con, you know. And then this is part of that. The ID cards, and these are from the, the Mom Bebe kit. So are these. Oh, so handsome. And this is from Season's Greetings. This is also from Season's Greetings. What are these? All right, I'm gonna have to do a little rearranging. Hold on. pre-order benefits I got these three um, from their uh, 365 days with you their 2022 season greetings I did not get Juhan's well, that's Juhan's slot there um, and then these are from the season greetings so cute you're the tiger I don't know, I can't remember if I posted my unboxing for this. I think I did. Uh, check it out. It's on a playlist at the end of this video. If you haven't seen it. That's what those are. Totally cute. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to put Chankians in his section. One second. Let's go back. Yeah, does he have his own section back here? He does, he has his own section back there. <laughs> I can't even remember my own binder. All right, and then these are the photo book they had. Um, Siesta, yeah. And Chillax Mode was this past year's one. And this is a random home party, and this was like a, I think this was a benefit card for the siesta. I don't know. I don't know how I randomly have a menu. Ugh, this is such a random, such a random page. Don't know why it's so random. I think I'm gonna put it here. Okay. And then these are like the two top gum things. I'm missing quite a bit of Juhans. Ju 
And then this was their um, collab with, who was it with? Oh, Urban Decay, Urban Decay. And then here's Chenkin's non-album or in Japanese album section. So, oh, illegal. I am going to add these back here. Yeah. The season's greetings right here. Am I happy with that? No, I'm not happy with that. Hold on. I want to keep his season's greetings together. And then... His photo book stuff. And here's chillax mode. I think this was a, um, was it a pre-order benefit? I think this was a pre-order benefit. I can't remember. Here. Oh, once I take that out. Let's move that there. Let's put this here. And put these there. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to be okay with that. <laughs> All right. God, I am such a goof troop. This right here is the pre-order benefit for chillax mode. So we're gonna have to scoot some things around here. That. This is just the regular photo card from Chillax Mode. And that goes there. Yeah, I pulled him and Hyung Wan's pre-order benefit from, I think it was the, honestly I can't remember if it was G-Market or K-Town for you. Next section. Oh, okay, larger inclusions section. This is from the uh, Fantasy Aquino. I have Kino things here. This is a group card. I'm going to put that in a different binder. So these are the one-of-a-kind Kino um, like mini postcards. And I think those will fit quite lovely in these four pocket pages. Um, I don't know why I opened it there. Do I know why I opened it there? Yeah, because this is Fantasia era, Fantasia era, Fatal Love, Fatal Love, Fatal Love, more Fatal Love. Ah, okay. Now, we can start the one-of-a-kind Kino things. I didn't get the, um, No Limit Kino yet. I actually honestly didn't think I was going to collect any more Monster X things after one-of-a-kind. Um, I don't know, I was kind of just losing interest. I guess, which sounds bad because I love Monster X so much. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. So EXO was my old group. They were the group that got me into K-pop. Um, the first group I ever, like, hardcore stand. And of course, Kyungsu was my first old bias. Um, and then BTS kind of moved in and it was kind of like a co-old group situation. Uh, and then Monster X took over both of them and became my old group. Um, and I still love all three groups that, believe me, they were in my top five groups. Um, but I just realized that the boys are my current alt group. Um, and they don't seem to show any signs of slowing down being my old group. So I 
might be in it for the long haul with the boys. Oh, that's a perfect. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't get No Limit. I just last minute decided to collect No Limit stuff. So I haven't gotten a Kino yet. But yeah, moving on. Oh, these are so cute. These are like one pocket page things. This is from MH University, of course. They're fifth fan con. Uh, this is the from the kit. Mon baby kit, mon baby kit. So handsome they are. Seasons greetings. Oh, seasons greetings for pocket things. Seasons greetings. Four pocket things. Yes, season screenings for pocket things. All right, this is photo book things. Seasons greetings. Okay, I do have bigger inclusions for that. Um, I was deciding if I wanted to put these in my binder because they're so like they're like thick, but. Yeah, these are like the, um, I don't know what you call these things, like, what do you call these things? Like film slide things? I think, like slides, film slides, yeah. And that was with the, um, the season's greetings and these cute postcards as well. Let me see if these will fit in, uh, an Ultra Pro 4 Pocket. Alright, moment of truth time. Oh, so these will fit. Okay, they fit perfect. Ah, oh, these postcards are totally cute. I guess collecting four members really works out in some cases. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute this page is, everybody. Wow. So cute. <sighs> and then, do these, uh, these fit? They look like they'll fit. It's a tight fit, but they, yeah, they fit. Oh, that's really tight. Those aren't going anywhere. That is snug, yeah. Perfect fit, though. Let's see if these fit better. They're not so sm I mean, they fit nicer in these BCW four pockets, like looser. But it's like they're, I don't know if you can see, it's slightly too tall, I guess. Where they are. A lot snugger in the Ultra Pro 4 pocket, but... They just fit, like, it's taller. Or the pocket page is a little taller. Alright. Ultra Pro wins this round. So, let's do... This. And then this. And then we got the single pocket things. So there's champions. Shonu. I miss Nunu. Can't wait for him to come back from military service. I kind of wish Monster X went all in together, like on and off did. But I guess they're just gonna go when they are forced to because of age. Pretty, I love these. So nice, they're so aesthetic. Alright, so these are photo book things. This is from Kama and Siesta. Oh, it's all comma. Okay. 
And this is from Chillax Mode. What else do I have in here? Is this all Chillax Mode? Yeah, this is all Chillax Mode stuff. Ah, I can't believe I wasted one pockets for those. These little film strip things. Looks like Juhan, Chenkian, and then a bookmark thingy. These are pulls I got from my one set of No Limit albums. Um, I know these will fit really nicely in a six pocket. Do I have a six, like these things, six pockets like these, like that. See how, well, see how nice those are? Mm. Yeah, I don't feel like this video is so long. Um, yeah, uh, I will put these in later, but that's just show these are like the two film strips and a like bookmark. I don't have any more since I haven't collected these yet. These are just my pulls. And I have, these are like kind of low priority, so I haven't gone after them yet. Yeah, so for now, let's just put them up here. And let's just do one final kind of flip through of Monster X, since they were my previous old group, and I am proud of this collection. So satisfying to see so many complete pages. Ugh, that's... You know what's funny? I haven't been checking to see if this is all in frame or not. <laughs> oh, how disappointing would that be if this is not in frame? We need to finish this up. Luckily, they're not too expensive, so, yeah, but I went a little overboard this paycheck, so I am on fumes as it is, so no more photo cards in my near future until I get paid again. So this is what it's going to be for now. By the time this is posted, I may have already collected the rest of these. And if so, it'll be in a uh, future, like, update video. Wow, this is going to be the longest. I'm going to have to split this up into two parts, too. Or part four. Yeah, this is kind of a struggle section. These TikTok gum photo cards. They're totally cute, but I'm just... I haven't had the motivation to collect them all. And of course, Jenkins section. God, this is such a cute card. Purple hair, so cute. Oh, so handsome. I just don't know if I can give him up though. I mean, he's probably the easiest one to sell because everybody loves Jenkins, but he'd be the hardest one for me to give up. Oh, Subin, there you are. It's like, where's Waldo? It's like, where's Subin? <laughs> I just always leave them on random pages. Ah, these are so pretty. It's nice to see the Kinos. I like these little standees too. Mm, by himself. I guess if I had Hyungwon and Kion, it would be perfect, but I don't collect them, so. Oh, bookmarky things. Um, hold on. because I said we were going to be a little less wasteful. <laughs> For now, I'm just going to put them here. Totally cute. I'm not mad at that. Okay, that's where they're going to live for now. They love Kinos. So, so handsome. Tower Records. Postcards. This is one of the kind stuff. 
You already saw these. Oh, gosh, so many times. Yes, John. Mm. Tell you what. If I wasn't already married to Chan, tell you what. I'm pretty proud of my Monster X collection. It's not the biggest in the world, but I think I did a pretty good job. Mm, you know. Mm. Something about these one pocket pages, or at least how I have them in there, just bugs me. I'll have to figure out better storage solution for these later. Alright. Another binder down. Looks like we're like an hour three at this point. <laughs> oh. Alright, next, this plain white binder houses my Monster X uh, unit and group PCs from all eras. Uh, my friend Stella, she gave or she um gifted me these. I kind of lost touch with her. She lives in Singapore, but uh, yeah, I haven't been able to talk to her. She's so busy. Miss her. All right, so here's some unit and group things. Uh, I love these unit cards. I really do. I try to collect them all if I can. This is the only time you'll really see um, Young Wan and Kion if they're paired with my bias line. Wano is my bias for MX7 or OT7, and Juhan is my bias for MX6. So, oh, these are so cute. I believe these are actually broadcast ones. Yep, yeah, these are broadcast ones. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it's just so nice when the page is complete. <sighs> this man, so built. Oh, these are broadcast ones. Look, look at all the. I wasted so much. Uh, oh well. This is from the We Are Here broadcast. So, so cute. Mm. Yeah, I actually reserved the spaces for the units I want in there. Oh, these are also broadcast from Follow Era. So pretty. And Fantasia. I think these were broadcasts. Yeah, these are like broadcast Fantasia. You can't tell if they look just like the normal cards. <laughs> oh, and these are uh, one of a kind. One of a kind, yeah, one of a kind units. I don't know if I got them all or not, but. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, this is what I'm doing. Rearranging. Going to move these down. These are so these are so cute. Look at this card. So cute. Ugh. Okay. So the reason I'm moving these is so I can take out these uh, seasons greetings units. These were actually, um, pre-order benefits, yeah, but yeah, these were the Season's Greetings pre-order benefits. They were unit cards, and obviously there was three units. There. And that way I can start the, um, No Limit. Oh, units, so cute. Ugh. Um, 
yeah I don't have these set up yet so this is definitely gonna move around but I've got let's see Juhan Minyuk would be first and then oh yeah Juhan Jenkin, that is so cute. That is the cutest card, I swear. Anything with Juhan will be first since he's my main bias. Okay, and then Minyak would be next. Let's see, so I already have these two together. So Minyak. Let's see, Jenkin would be next. And then Minyak. Jungwon. And then Jenkins. Okay. Oh, I don't want to waste. No, I'm going to get more of these units, so. Unit cards, I definitely want to get more of. This is one of those rare groups that I just have to have their units. Because their unit cards are the cutest things in the world. Yeah, okay. This will definitely be rearranged later once I get more unit cards for this era. There. And these, of course, are um, non album units. So, next section ah, group cards. These are full group. Monster X is one of the, I think they're the only, yeah, yeah, they're the only group I collect full group things. So they do have that distinction. I do collect full group with Monster X. Um, I already have them spaced out. I'm missing a few from different albums. Why is this one? Oh, yeah. These are Japanese ones here. It bothers me that they're facing different directions, but that's how they are. Okay. This is a broadcast group. In, uh, from Fantasia. Um, yeah, so and these are Tutukum and the MX University and the Mambebe kit. Yeah, and yeah, Tutukum, like I said earlier, units. I mean, um, group photo cards. I do have one more to add. This is from The Dreaming, which is their latest US release. Okay, I'm going to put that here. Yeah. We are rearranging. Yes, we are. Closer to the end here. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So these are um, like larger inclusion group and unit things. These are from Fatal Love. I'm missing a couple. Um, how do I? What do I do? Oh, okay. I think I don't have did. I went from like most pockets to least. So these are six pockets, then I went four pocket, and then probably two, yeah, two, and then one. Okay. So, and that, that's the case, if that's a six pocket, I do need to add, ah, oh, I have one left. <laughs> one six pocket left. So these are like tickets from the um, season's greetings. They're totally cute, so I'm going to put them in, of course, bias order. So anything with Juhan comes first. Oh, these will not go in. There we go. So Juhan with flowers. Oh my god, look at that. It's the cutest thing. And this concept here. 
He's with Minyak, of course. And then next is Nunu -Nu with Sh with Kiyun. So we got the Shoki unit. Mom and Dad are the group. And then we've got the introverts. We got Youngwon and Chenkin. So they will. F God. The scalloped edges make it hard. There. There. Finally. Okay, I like it. Alright, here's some four pocket pages. Here's some like a Polaroid style. Who we are here, and we got Aquino uh, units for Fantasia, and of course the group shot. And then we've got the Fatal Love ones. Okay, MX Agent. That's from the Mom Baby kit. So I do have. One of a kind ones. We need two more pages. All right, how do I have these? Okay. So let's make sure these are all. Well, that's weird. You notice the um, darker and lighter. Must be. I don't know. All right. So we've got Juhan Kihan. All right. So it's going to be in this order. So Juhan and Kion. Then Nunu and Minyok. And then Hyungwon Chinkin. the group shot and I think I have a paper pre-cut yes nice all right and again that's the mom baby kit stuff here's some postcard no these are like oh they're like Fuji film like four by sixes and then all the single pocket page things back here yeah, all right. So that is the unit and group binder for Masta X. Right there. But now we get to the group I have neglected probably the most. And Hypen. Yes, the in Hypen binder. So I've known about K-pop for a few years, but I didn't really get into it, into it until EXO's obsession era. Um, so yeah. All the groups that I followed were all established already by the point when I jumped really into K-pop, like collecting anyway. I've listened to it for longer than I've collected, but collecting-wise, I started during EXO's Obsession era. Um, but in Hypen would become the first group I've ever seen actually like form during real time. Like I was watching Island week after week, like following the the, the trainees, like rooting for the trainees, and um, so they were the first group I ever seen like form. So they have like, a special place in my heart, which um, so which is why I started collecting them so hard in the beginning. Like I collected five members, which was insane. Um, I collected uh, Jay, Jake, Hisung, um, Jungwon, and Sungun. Um, during the show, Jay was my initial bias until like two episodes towards the end. The final two episodes, I jumped over to Jungwon because I just really love Jungwon. Um, but then after, I went back to Jay being main bias. Um, but then as they started releasing music, I really wasn't like, vibing with their music, which was making me sad. And I still collected them because I'm very loyal to the groups I really collect. Um, and since they were the first group I saw form, they had that, you know, that little place in my heart, but I just didn't like their music. Like, I like, it's, it's, the music is fine. Like, I don't hate their music. It just wasn't my style of music, I guess. Um, until the last comeback, actually. Until Blessed Cursed came out. Um, which I just love. Love that song. Ugh. So, I decided to sell off my He Sung and Jungwon collections. And I was still debating if I was just going to sell off and hype them all together. Um, until that last comeback. So, I decided I'm still going to keep Jay, Jake, and Sung um, for now. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get rid of Jay. Like, Jay, I don't think I'll ever get rid of him. Um, even if I saw off these two, I'm not giving up Jay. But yeah, sorry about that long rant, but that's my history with Enhypen.
I guess these are like the O2 liners, which is funny. They're all, you know, O2. And I really do not have a lot to put in here at the moment. But I'll just flip through what I do have. For a while, I was doing really good with the knife. And like, these are all like Weaver's pre-orders. And uh, these are like fan sign benefits here. The backs are really pretty. And then this was um, from um, Border Day One. You know, the whole complete set for that, for the three members. These outdoor ones are so pretty. I love them. Ah, especially love Jay. And then um, the postcards that came with Border Day One. These um, these this concept. Oh, so dangerous. Love it. The vampire-y ones. And then full group, of course. And then, um, Border Carnival, which I'm <laughs> doing horrible, honestly, doing horrible with that. I have them labeled already, but I, um, these are actually just my album pulls, which I did really good with album pulls, I might say. Uh, I had some He Sung and Jung Wan, like I said, but I already sold them off. Those were like the hardest decisions ever. Like, Jung Wan was a hard one. He Sung, for some reason, really hard to get rid of. Like, not like hard to sell, but it was hard for me to get rid of them. Because <laughs> I, I really like He Sung. He's such a dork, but I love him. Yeah, but I guess eventually I'll go back once I get inspired and collect these again. And then these were like the postcard thingies. Oh god, and this is the Dimension Dilemma. I'm doing super terra bad on that. These are, um, again, pre-labeled. I uh, just haven't collected anything but what I pulled. I did pull Jay and Sung Hoon's, uh, what is Scylla? Is that Scylla? 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 Whatever, they're hollows. Which is exciting because I love hollows. And then... Oh, this is like my favorite. I'm glad I pulled this one. This is Jay's um, Odysseus Hollow. It's just look, <sighs> boy, I tell ya. But yeah, and then this is the I don't know, Cherub, ch Charybdis, Charybdis. I don't know what these words are, but <laughs> these were my pulls from that. I did get Jake's Hollow. Um, but yeah. I'll have to go back and collect those, of course. And then a Target exclusive, the Jake one. And then answer, the, the dimension answer. It's kind of like love yourself answer. <laughs> um, so I do have some of that. These are the only things I've pulled from that era. Um, actually, my and my friend Katie is gifting me a Jake, uh, I think a Polaroid photo card, yeah. Alright, so for, these are the only three I have to put in this binder. So this is the uh, Jake, um, so there's the no and the yet version. So this is the yet version, uh, I guess, selfie card. right there and that's it that's all I have for selfie cards I don't have the other members so I have to hunt them down and then for Polaroids I thought I pulled both of Sun Moons which is cool so if I'm not mistaken I think this is the no version this is the yet version yeah I think I'm right No, and yet. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> but I'll show you what I have still left in this binder. These are the um, non album things. Like, this is their neck pillow. Um, what is this from? This might be from their first fan kit. That's, to that's just totally wrong. It's just, it's just like, it's just like wrong. This is wrong. So when we this have a party, true. this is not true. 
Yeah, I think this is from Engine Fan Kit, the first generation one. I have to get the second one. I haven't ordered it yet. Um, this is the uh, Season's Greetings. These were the random um, ID cards, which were super expensive at first, but I pulled Jake. I found Jay's at a reasonable price. Some Hoon I've yet to find, but ho hopefully one day. And then these are all the um, N Connect, um, yeah, the N Connect photo card things. Uh, I got like ten packs, like the most you can get, I guess, at one point. But that I got the uh, ten pack order. It was expensive as crap, but yeah, that's what these are. Oh gosh, so cute. I'm missing a few, as you can see. And then here's some group shots, some units. This is a Goo Goo package, and I pulled his random from the Goo Goo package. I was so excited. Look how cute he is. They're so cute. And then these are just other inclusions from the Goo Goo package. And then these are, I think, from the light stick? Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. I think these are from the light stick when you got the the end the in hype and light stick yeah i think so that's what these are these are like slightly bigger that's why they're in a full pocket all right so that was my oh these are like the posters from the album too but i i might put that in one pocket later so that's my in hype and binder all right here's a group that you probably wouldn't think i would collect or have anything to do with, but this is Wee Eye, um, Johan, Jenso, and Dongan. I collected Johan and Dongan initially, um, but I fell in love with Jenso, so um, now I collect him too. Uh, they're like the Kims, the Kim brothers Kim Johan, Kim Jenso, Kim Dongan. Uh, but yeah, so I already have some Johan and Dongan things. Um, so this is their first album, the Identity First Sight album. Um, you can see I'm Jinso, I just started collecting, so I have nothing really of his yet. I have a lot coming, but nothing yet. I think it should be like this for the Wii version for Johan. And this. Alright, and then the I version. Nothing new to add there, but that's that page. And then Polas. I actually do have a Pola. This is Junso's. A Wii version. Pola. There. Just missing uh, Dongans for that. And then. Uh, so I only, I'm going to collect like hardcore collect like benefit cards for certain few groups. Um, for some reason I just love Wii Eyes like benefit cards. So I'm collecting more of them than I would other groups with the exception of the boys who I collect all of their benefit cards, which oh, rest in peace my wallet for that. Um, but yeah. But I'm only gonna collect like my favorite ones per era, um, which apparently is all of them for for uh, first sight. It's like eight out of the nine benefit cards that I'm collecting. But these are so cute. These little antler ones. Oh, so cute. I don't think I have any. I do not. I don't have any to add for this era. I do have some on the way. I think in a Neo Geo. But this is what I have so far. Make star ones, a lot of them are hollow. And then we jump into Identity Challenge, which was their second album. Or their second mini, I guess. There's the all versions, the um, nothing, it's all nothing in challenge. Yeah, all nothing in challenge. It's four per member, per version. I'm missing Johan's first one. But I do have this one and 
this one here. And then uh, nothing for Dongin. I do have a nothing uh, version for Jenso. So I am underway now. And for challenge versions, I have this one and this one. Yep. And I'm just following a template. That's why I have them in a particular order, because that's the order the template has it. I don't know if that's correct. I'm looking at these and it does not look correct. <laughs> um, maybe this is supposed to be like this. All right, this will be potentially rearranged later, but this is what it is for now. All right, Polaroid. I was just missing this one for Johan. And let's see, all oh, nothing, okay. And I got this one for Junso. Junso? Junso. Junso. Uh, I'm gonna go Junso. And I have all of Dongens, which is cool. And then they also have transparents. I do not have any transparents for uh, Junso yet. Uh, but now we get to their make star or their pre-order benefits. All right, so I do have a couple for Johan. They're holographic, yay. This is uh, make star SB or the second round. And this one is actually E. Oh, I'm in love with this card. He looks so good here. Johan, such a model. And I actually have a couple for Jinso as well. Um, I have his A and his B. Uh, these pages are going to be so pretty when they're like complete. Especially if they're just all like holographic. Hmm, that'd be so pretty. Can't wait. Yeah. Nothing for Dongan. <laughs> I actually have a lot of his already. I did pretty good initially collecting him. All right, so their latest album was Identity Action. Um, and this is when I decided I was gonna collect Jinso and I was gonna stop collecting Dongan. So that's why these next pages are only set up for Johan and Jinso. I might change my mind later and go back and collect Dongan because he's uh, pretty inexpensive, but for now, I'm just gonna click Johan and Junso from here on out. So, yeah, that's why these are all empty, because I haven't started them yet, officially. <laughs> and then, ticket photo cards. This started in challenge version. I do have Junso's. Yep, the Kims. Yeah, see him. And then missing the other ones, of course. And then First Sight had these cool, like, bookmark things. Um, and I do have Jinso's, I think, on the way from Neo Geo. Yep. And then these are postcards. Um, these are, like, low priority for me. I'll, you know, get them if they're part of a bundle or if they're super cheap. But these are from Identity Challenge. Yeah, so that is all I have for my Wii binder. All right, we only have two binders left. This is my random boy group binder. Uh, this one has Subin, Dino, and Junyoung. Subin, of course, TXD, Junyoung goes 9, Dino, 17. So Dino, oh, Subin, hey. Uh, I guess we're starting with Subin. I thought we were starting with Dino. So I was actually going to sell off my Subin 
collection. By collection, it's just the things I pulled from the TXT albums. Um, because I pulled him decently. Like, these are my album pulls. Um, but I was going to sell him off because I just thought he'd be too expensive. But he's actually not bad. So I decided I was going to keep him because <laughs> I love Subin. He is my TXT bias. And these are what I'm putting away today. Um, Star Seekers card um, from, I think it's this one, yeah. And then this is the Star Seekers. I think this is the, I think this is this. And then this one was the um, the Weavers pre-order benefits that came in those like magnet holder things. When I got my three albums, I got Yunjun, um, Taeyun, and Kai, Yunin Kai. I didn't pull Subin, so I had to buy this one. All right, this first page is coming along. And that's all I have for Subin. <laughs> all right. Dino. All right, so my three biases, of course, are um, Wanu, Mingyu, and DK. That you saw it earlier. Um, but Dino is my wrecker. So anytime I pull Dino, I keep him. I don't sell him off. I um, just love Dino. So these are actually all album pulls. I pull him... Decently, I think, pretty decent. And of course, Carrot Land stuff. And of course, um, Attica and the Daikon Magazine. Um, I don't have these in any particular order, which I should. So the only thing I have for Dino today is his um, Season's Greetings. So cute. Yeah, his birthday just passed too. I think he just I forgot what he how he did he turn twenty one? No, he was older than twenty one. I can't remember. Is it his twenty first birthday? Hmm. Um, and of course his um his two little IDs from the season's greetings. That's a bookmark I pulled. And I guess the Attica Kino and from the album. Some postcards. So handsome. That larger inclusions. Oh. There they go. So that was from the carrot kit last year. And these again were from the season's greetings this year. I love these 20 pocket pages. <laughs> Can't wait to fill one up all the way. Yeah. And because this is such a random binder, this little section is for uh, John Young from Ghost Nine. He is my bias of that group. This is like one of my all time favorite cards. <laughs> so cute. I have this right here. This is from their recent uh, US tour, which was so awesome. Glad they got the tour of the US. Oh, so pretty. I love it. This is my little John Young page. <laughs> you can see, I don't really actively collect him, but I see him like super cheap on Mercari. I will like randomly buy it just to add to my collection. Uh, but maybe eventually I will start collecting a little more hardcore before they get too popular and he gets more expensive. Ooh, ooh, a lot of extra pages back here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, random. This is nine from only one of. <laughs> he came with my album. Um, yeah, but I'm not collecting. <sighs> maybe I will. This is like a maybe. Yeah. We are at 
a last binder. Oh my god, who would have thought we would get this far? This is Random Boy Group Binder 2. And you'll notice a little change from before. But Moonbin, I love Moonbin so much. Um, so from Astro, I'm going to start collecting them because I'm such a clown. Like, I just can't stop myself. And of course, uh, from Omega X, we got Hang Young, Jaehyun, and Ye Chen. <sighs> yeah. I am a clown. I don't. I just. I was like, after the boys, I started like finishing or completing. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to wait around for the next comeback. Just take it easy. Nope. Nope. I just decided I'm going to start two new groups because <sighs> I'm a clown. <laughs> Uh, so, I've got them pre-labeled already. Cute. I don't have any Astro stuff yet, but I do have some Omega X stuff. This guy is so freaking hard to collect, I tell ya. Uh, but I love all their title tracks. I loved Vamos. I love um, Love Me Like. Um, I loved um, What's Going On. Like I like their, their B-sides too. Like I'm just really falling in love with this group. But I'm only doing regular album and my three favorite pobs or benefit cards from each era. That's it. Because I want them to just fit nicely in a nine pocket. So my top three pobs or benefits and the album cards. That's it. <laughs> just, I just, ugh, I can't. Um, so for Vamos era, I do have Hang Yum's X version. Which I got from Kiki, Kiki Lee. Hey, Kiki. Um, she does have a YouTube channel. She's pretty awesome, actually. She does reactions, and she's so cool. I'm glad I met her. Um, but uh, I bought that from her. I also have Jayen's, um X version for Vamos. I love it. He winks so much in all of his photo cards. I am here for it. And I don't have any Ye Chen, Vamos era. Alright, what's going on? I don't have anything from Han Yong, which really upsets me. He's so hard to find. Ugh. Um, but I do have a JN's E version. Which is that. And his F version. Which is this. And I actually do also have Ye Chen's F version. Yeah, Ye Chen and Jun So um, were my top two from under 19. So that's why he is a bias for Omega X. I think I need to stop watching survival shows because they're the reason why I'm broke. Because I keep collecting new members that I fall for on the shows. Alright, for Love Me Like... Um, I do have Hang Young's uh, love version and Ye Chan's love version. Got their animal print. And I've got Jae Young's um, like version. these photos by Jan I've got on the way from Neo Kyo. Can't wait to get those. <sighs> well, yeah, that, I'm on my way. It's a slow start, but it's a start. <laughs> I am very excited to collect this group. I hope they are more successful with every album release. Yeah, but here's the benefit cards I've already got pre-labeled. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yay. All right. Well, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's a three-parter. It might end up being a four-parter. But that was my major binder storing video uh, of my recent photo card purchases. Um, I want to thank you, as always, for hanging out with me today. Uh, if, if you would like, 
and I would appreciate. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that'll let me know that you'd be interested in future unboxings, storing videos, binder flip-throughs, etc, etc, etc. Um, but I, like I always say, if you don't feel like doing any of that, I just appreciate you hanging out with me while I organize and talk to K-pop. So, with that being said, I am tired. My voice is killing me. I gotta put all these binders away. <laughs> Um, and I will see you in a future video. Stay safe out there and take care. Bye-bye.